Oh, we're down. No, 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 no. This is the first time I've ever grown potatoes. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Did you just see that? There are so many salmon here right now, guys. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to another episode. We are out in the middle of the woods at a pristine salmon river. And that's what we're going for today. We're going salmon fishing, baby. <laughs> Let me just show you guys around. It is absolutely beautiful out here. So we brought out the salmon gear, cooking gear in the bag. That's the goal for this episode, is just to try and see if we can find some salmon uh, in this river. If we do, maybe we can try and catch one. And if we get lucky and get one, we'll cook them up together. So I think what we're gonna do is just uh, walk up the river there a little bit, find a deeper hole. There's a bunch of birds chirping around over there. It looks like there's a little trail that traverses next to the river. We're in the jungle now, traversing and trying to find a spot on the river with some deeper holes. Uh, Cause salmon like hanging out in uh, the, the low deep spots of the river where fast water flows into these deep pools. Oh man. Wow. Look at this. We're gonna continue uh, sneaking up there. There looks to be a giant log jam up ahead of us. Oh my goodness, there's a duck. A duck. We scared her away. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's all right, that's all right. I think we might have found the spot. Nice deep hole right over there. <laughs> I'm sweating bullets, it's, it's hot out, way hotter than I thought it was gonna be. All right, and then pole wise, we have a couple of options with us that we can use today. One with a, uh, a slip float that we've got uh, set up with a, just a little hook that we could fish some eggs, some salmon eggs under his bait. I'll show you guys what we got in there in the old mystery bag. Uh, and then this guy here, right now we just got her set up with a, a bullet lure with a single point hook on there. We could try a couple, yeah, why don't we try a couple casts with the bullet lure? See that where that fast water kind of flows in uh, into that deep pool? I think that's where we're gonna try and get him. So get some human scent on there, the salmon like it. Ooh, man, perfect cast right there in the honey hole. Nice and slow retrieve. Uh, we gotta be really, really gentle with these fish. They're, uh, well, it depends on the river. Salmon behave different in every single river, and that's what makes these guys kind of fun to fish for. Uh, in this river here, they're very, very subtle biters. They're not very aggressive from what I've experienced. Hmm, let's see if we can see any from up here. Not seeing any salmon right here, but in the deep there, that's where they would be sitting. There we go, barely need to retrieve it all. We'll let the current do most of the work here. Come on, baby, come on. Not seeing any fish holding right here, so maybe we're just gonna focus our efforts up there. We could try the bobber too. I really think we should start uh, fishing the bobber. Could have a lot of success with that. I'm so thirsty too. Good thing that we brought out uh, the water filter. Oh yeah, just having fresh water at your fingertips at all times is so valuable. I think it is time to fish some stanky eggs. What these here are, are uh, cured salmon eggs. Way in the beginning <laughs> of uh, when I started shooting YouTube videos, I used to fish for salmon a lot more than I do now. I wanna say that was about three years ago. <laughs> and these eggs are about that old. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're like three year old uh, cured salmon eggs. They spent about two years in the freezer and the last year since last salmon season in the fridge. And surprisingly, they have not molded yet. Um, <laughs> let's see what they smell like. Oh. <laughs> oh man, they smell a little bit like shrimp. <laughs> so I don't know if these guys are too old to catch salmon. I've caught salmon with moldy uh, eggs before, but uh, Mm, man, these guys might be pushing the limit. Now, one thing I realize is that a lot of you guys are watching from all over the world. And if you maybe don't know what a salmon is or what they do, why they're in the rivers right now, and you thought they were in the ocean, or maybe you think they're only in the rivers, uh, what salmon do is every year they come up uh, from the ocean into our rivers to lay their eggs. They mate in the rivers. Little baby salmon grow up in the rivers uh, to become about like that big or something like that and then they swim back out to the ocean to grow big for a few years and then they come right back to the same river that they were born in so the way that we're gonna fish these eggs here <laughs> if you're wondering is uh with a special knot on uh your hook and it's called an egg loop knot now this one's already tied up but what the egg loop knot lets you do is open a little loop right there on the tip of your hook and that's what you'll slide the uh, eggs right into right there please be pre-cut uh, oh my goodness all right we don't want too many eggs we're gonna take about half of this right here oh man this is such a mess such a mess they have gotten so soft too I don't know if these eggs are very good anymore oh this could be a disaster guys it always is a disaster though <laughs> when is it not right <laughs> all right so what we do now with those eggs <laughs> look at how sandy they are oh man is uh, where we just slid them through that little loop what i like to still do is take the eggs one more time and just kind of put them over the shank of the hook oh come on baby man that's been a long time since we have bobber fished with eggs oh that brings back all kinds of memories look at that happy little bobber right there we kind of want it a little bit more in the current though Ooh, there we go right in the current oh man that's beautiful 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 keep your eyes on that bobber now it could happen any time and all we're looking for is just a little dip even if it goes down just a little bit we're instantly setting the hook we're not waiting for this fish to swallow anything because they're not going to swallow it they're just going to hit it very briefly Ooh, there we go, there we go. Deeper into the current. Those eggs are falling apart though. <laughs> We've got just a little tiny bit left on there. Well, that's all right, that's all we need sometimes. Nice natural drift. Oh, we're down. Oh. oh, I think that was the bottom. I think it was the bottom. False alarm, guys. Everyone calm down, calm yourselves. <laughs> not looking great but you know what sometimes that can still you know tell you what, we're gonna pop one of them they're like they're like little orbies and there we go we can pop them and then that'll reduce everything a little bit there we go last cast with those eggs there all right Take a look in the old salmon tackle box. We got a little bit of everything in here. We got a bunch of, uh, like I said, some twitching uh, jigs. Ooh, man, look at this beautiful one. This one came from one of you guys a couple of years ago, I want to say. So we'll maybe try some uh, twitching here in a bit too. All right, so I tied up this little jig right here. It's actually a pretty fat jig that we're gonna try and just twitch through the water a little bit and sometimes especially coho which is what we're trying to catch is a coho salmon they're pretty aggressive when it comes to those jigs right there it's got uh, a big bushy tail and then in the end here a little like a little golden dangler doesn't really need the golden dangler and again mostly what we're trying to get here out of the salmon is a reaction bite Oh. oh, dude, 
did we just have a bite? Yeah, let's go check it out, see if there's a stump there, or if we did maybe get a bite. Is there? Nah, there's a stump right there. There's a stump, false alarm, false alarm. Good to know, almost lost that jig, jeez. Yeah, this is a little sketchy. We're fishing down at the bottom, <laughs> so there's a good chance that we could lose one of these jigs. Man, look at this little guy right down here. That little guy, he's been through something coming up this river. All right, buddy, swim on. You got a little ways to go still. Have a great day. Let's see what happens if we just cast that baby right out over here. A, a tiny little baby fish just jumped right there. Oh my God, what that just happened? Did you see that? Oh, okay, I gotta, I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. Okay, we found the honey hole here, guys. We found the honey hole. Oh, there's one back there too. Okay, just cast that little jig out there. And again, we're just gonna give it just a little jig action down there. Hopefully we can get one of those coho. There's gotta be so many fish. Oh my goodness. Another one just jumped right there. Come on, baby. Come on. Just take one little nibble. Tiny little nibble. That's all we need. Oh, another one jumped. My God. There's so many salmon here right now. This is ridiculous. What are they doing right here? Why are they all hanging out? The water's just a little murky. It's not really moving. <gasps> oh, jeez! Did you just see that? Right in front of us. He jumped like at us. Come on, baby. Oh, jeez, there's another one right there. As you guys can see, even with a lot of salmon down there, the trick really is to see how can we get one to bite. You'd think with that many of them that one would just absolutely go for it. And if we were in the ocean right now, they'd all be snapping at it. We're looking for that one fish that hasn't forgotten that hunting instinct. That's the fish we're after. The rest of them, they're all up here to have fun. It's mating season for the salmon. And they've got other things on their mind than uh, eating. Definitely have to come out and do more salmon fishing. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see more salmon fishing. There we go, we keep seeing them jumping right there, right? Let's see if they go for those eggs. Come on, baby. Come on. Man, not a single bite. Kinda gotta get back out of this river here. All right, you guys, it is the next day. We did not catch any salmon yesterday. <laughs> but we're at my uh, homestead right now. I thought uh, I'd give you guys an update. I promised that in the last video and we have not given up on today's salmon catch and cook yet. I've got a little trick up my sleeve. We're gonna head right back down to the river, but we gotta just finish a couple of little farm chores real quick. And look who says hello, Kiara uh, is gonna help. <laughs> Kiara, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right guys, right here, this is what I have been up to pretty much the entire last month and a half. If you guys have been wondering where the videos have been, I built this chicken coop right here. She's not 100% done by all means, but you know what? It's good enough to where I can kind of focus uh, on videos again, getting out, doing more fishing. Uh, Kiara, you're not supposed to drink out of the chicken feet water. Uh, it's been a while since you've seen the chicks too, huh? They're a, a lot bigger now. Oh, let's go ahead and see if they laid some eggs. They did start laying eggs a couple of weeks ago. Oh my goodness. Look at these guys here. These guys are fake eggs to kind of discourage them from pecking at their own eggs. Hello, how are you doing, huh? How are you doing? Um, but look at that, we got two eggs. Uh, they laid four more uh, this morning, so that's six eggs that they gave us today. That's more eggs than I can actually eat. Kira, look at what they gave us. They gave us some eggs. I know, I know. We're gonna put them right there. Kira, you guard the eggs, okay? You guard the eggs. Hello everyone, oh my goodness, escapee, an escapee. Hi, how are you all doing? Ooh, dusty. We're gonna go ahead and just give these little girls a quick snack. Oh, it's their absolute favorite. They're these little uh, bug larvae. 
and I just can't get enough of them. Mm -mm -mm. Let me introduce you guys to the newest member of the flock. Hello, little girl. She's actually a rescue chicken. Uh, she was ostracized by her family, uh, was not accepted by the mother hen. So very soon, this little girl is gonna move in to the coop uh, with all of these guys right here. Huh. Over here, built into the chicken coop, is a, uh, a woodshed that I built. Just starting to fill that baby up right there. I've got, next to the house, a lot of firewood to chop. Oh, I know, I know. Man, look at all of those habaneros growing on this plant here. Habanero heaven. Our tomato plant is huge with lots of fresh, delicious tomatoes on it. Right here, I'm trying to grow some fall potatoes. As you can see, they're kind of coming out uh, right now. But from the last farm update, I think you guys saw the summer potatoes at about that stage. Uh, this is one of the leftover plants right here that I haven't harvested yet. I saved this one for you guys that we're gonna harvest together now. We're gonna use those potatoes for this salmon catch and cook. Kiara, hey. You leave the chickens alone. Are you chasing the chickens? So let's see how we did on this potato harvest right here. This is the first time I've ever grown potatoes and the other batches have kind of been so-so. A bunch of just some old plants that I kind of dried up. A lot of roots. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Nice, got some little, little baby potatoes. We're gonna throw these guys aside. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that. Nice, Kiara, look at that, we got a bunch of potatoes. Man, and they just keep on coming here. Man, look at this, oh geez, they're going everywhere. But look at that batch of potatoes. It's one of the best survival foods out there if you can grow them right. Oh, that's awesome. This guy right here, that's a beautiful, beautiful tomato. We're gonna harvest this guy for our catch and cook as well. You guys want to, oh, you stole the whole potato. No, no, you took that potato. Give me that potato back. You're supposed to share that with your sisters. My goodness. There we go. Oh yeah, the chickens, they like eating a little bit of the stuff that we're growing here too. Here, how about that? We'll throw that in the coop and you guys can share it in there. Hey, you get in there too. Come on, let's go. No, 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 no. Get over here. Get, get over here. <laughs> this one's still a little bit feisty. <laughs> All right, get in the coop. We gotta go to the river. Do you want some potato? All right, so check out the harvest that we got today here. What do you think, Kiara? Oh, ooh, someone likes the potatoes, huh? Oh, and now she's rolling on it. She's rolling on the potato. What, why are you, you're supposed to eat it? We're gonna head down and cook up some salmon now. Last week I was out on the boat with Brian and his kids and we were trolling for salmon out in the salt water. We did get lucky and uh, caught one salmon and a little tiny coho. So I'm just gonna roll in some of that footage of out on the boat while I head down to the river with the salmon. I'm gonna take a little bit of these potatoes and that uh, tomato with us. We'll cook that baby up. Oh no, where's that potato? We gotta go find your potato. All right. We fishing, baby. Oh my goodness. Was that a salmon that he just thrashed around? I think so, yeah. He's beating up a salmon. That sea lion just destroyed a salmon at the surface. That's good eye, Ian. Oh, that was insane. That was cool. Oh yeah, he's got Oh, he's got a salmon in his mouth. That's wild. Oh, it looks like the Loch Ness Monster, man. <laughs> he wants a banana. I'll take one. That's right. I won't. I already had a banana. a white pad. They were there from the top. Baby! Oh, no, he's on. Stop, right. baby! Yes, I need you to look at this, It might be a small one, I'm not sure. Here we go, here we go. Little guy, little guy. It is a coho though. It's a keeper, baby. 
bluish. Oh, he's kind of blue, oh. huh? All right, well, this is probably about the smallest salmon <laughs> that, that we could catch out here, but uh, it's a coho. So uh, there's no minimum size on these guys here and he was hooked pretty badly. I don't think he was gonna make it. It was kind of through the gills. So that's all right. We'll count him towards the, the daily limit. Oh yeah, look at that. Gotta get the banana peel out of the way to uh, get him down in the cooler. Oh, fish, fish, fish. Here. You better, someone grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Someone, someone, Ian. I'm gonna do it. Hold the, you're gonna want one hand right there. Nice job, nice job here. I'll help a little bit until you get comfortable. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, he's still there. He's still there. He, oh, yeah, he did come up. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Nice job, man. We got to see him. Right at the boat. That's all right. You got one, Silas? Oh, you got one. <laughs> nice job, Silas. There's the last little peak of the sun. She's saying goodbye. Oh, there's the, the sunset fish. <laughs> fish on, baby. <laughs> there he comes. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Thank you for biting, buddy. Gorgeous little flounder. <laughs> Fish on, baby! Oh, see the I see him. Oh, it's another oh, one. Oh, oh! That's a good one, man. That's a good one. <laughs> that here. I just got two bites. This is another one for you. Oh, thanks. Hey, Dad, can you clean that and gut it? <laughs> and cook it. And, and cook feed it. it to you? Yeah. Right. And just mouth feed it to I'll you? Like a baby bird. <laughs> oh, there you go. Ian's on him. Ian's on him. There he is! <laughs> Got him! That's a good one, dude! That's a good one! I think that's the biggest of the day. That I might win. be the winner, I man! That's a winner! I win! That's a brick, dude! Oh, oh. oh he just he just <laughs> puked up a, a sardine! Oh. oh! It's like a little a baby herring! Here, we'll feed that back to the sea unless you want to eat it. <laughs> good job, man. Catching a lot of fish today. I want to do this more often. Oh man, there's a little fish in this tiny puddle here. Look at this, this guy's almost dried out. It's probably a uh, baby trout or a baby salmon. There he is, there he is. Let's go ahead and save this guy. Get him back to the uh, larger river where he can survive. This thing's almost gone. Don't worry buddy, don't worry. There he is. Look at that, oh yeah, it's a little tiny baby salmon. Here you go, buddy. Here we go. <laughs> All right, he's off. This is the spot, man. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah, we're gonna find a little bit of uh, firewood. Like there's a little bit of uh, some lichen growing. We might be able to use this to start a fire if it's dry enough. I think this stuff might work out. Okay, that was one really rotten tree, but uh, we got us a stick that we use to cook up, cook up that salmon. All right, to start this fire, we're just gonna use the old flint and steel. All right, we got a big old nest of leaves here, and then for the inside, we're gonna use that little bit of uh, moss and lichen that hopefully will take a flame. Yeah. 
nice little piece of char cloth. Just place that baby right there into the moss. Oh, almost had it. There we go, we got one. See a glow right there? Oh. All right, there we go, we got some fire going. All right, here's our absolute trophy coho from the other day. But man, look at the color of that meat on this baby. All we're just gonna do is give these little potatoes a quick rinse. What we're gonna do is just go in through the mouth out one side. Ooh, almost speared my hand there. <laughs> one more time by the tail. There we go. Got a salmon on a stick. Perfect. That guy's just hanging out right there in the smoke. We're slow roast smoking that salmon. Oh, that's going to be good. With us here, we have our little mask kit. Throw in just a little bit of olive oil. Ooh, yeah then cut in just a little bit of these potatoes that we got here. These little tiny guys, we can just throw them in whole. <laughs> Man, these guys are about as fresh as it gets, straight from the farm into the pan. Throw them right there, just right there into the fire. Man, those potatoes are starting to look really good. Some of them are starting to get golden brown. If there's something I love, it's cooking over an open fire. I don't know what it is, just the primitive raw nature of it. Man, it just adds a bunch of flavor to the food, keeps you warm while you're cooking. Something beautiful to look at. And if there's one thing we can't forget, it's the Danish sea salt. Look at her just glistening against the sun. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, things just took a dramatic turn. Look at the size of those flakes. And all we're gonna do is just sprinkle her inside the salmon right here. Oh yes, ain't gotta be shy. She's just gonna soak into the meat. Tell you what, we'll throw a little bit into those potatoes too because I like my fries a little bit salty. Our potatoes are done. We're just gonna soak up some excess oil with a cloth here that we'll take with us. I don't wanna just dump the oil by the river here. Let's check out one of our little potato fries here. Mmm. Oh, crispy. Look at that beautiful fire roasted coho salmon. Beautiful red meat. We got our, our potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. And our fresh tomato. Let me just eat it like an apple. Mm. Oh. oh, so sweet and juicy. Tomatoes are so much sweeter than they are at the grocery store when you grow them yourself and let them ripen on the vine. Mmm, mmm. Here we go, guys. Cheers, first salmon catch and cook of the season. <laughs> and it's a monster, all right. Mm. Look at that meat. Oh man, that's good. Fish and chips. That was just a weird, like a little muskrat or something that swam across the creek. Hey buddy, don't worry, I'll leave you a little snack. We've got our carbs, the tomato here, more carbs as well as vitamins. And then we caught our protein as well as emo healthy omega-3s and all sorts of delicious nutrients. I and mean, this is like, you could live and sustain off of this combination here for a long time. Mm. Look at this. 
That's a quartz stone right there. The river is actually, I'm noticing it's full of uh, quartz. We can use these guys to start fires with a fire steel. So what we could do, tell you what, in one of the next episodes, we'll use this very stone to start a fire. Maybe out at the desert compound. We haven't been at the desert property in a while. I promised you guys uh, that we're gonna go out there and do an update very soon. Probably in the next couple of weeks, I'll head out there uh, and do some fishing as well as some hunting. Let me know if you guys wanna see some hunting content. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this one. Remember to uh, subscribe if you guys are still brand new. Uh, leave a like, it helps a ton. And remember to drop a comment. I'll see all you guys in the comment section and uh, we'll see you all very soon for the next fishing adventure. And until then, I love you guys and you all know it. Fish on, baby.